Okay, you two buddies. Well, the gentleman building our cabinets, Brett, is here today, and he is making patterns. So I'm going to do a quick turnaround. So Brett, you're not just a carpenter. What are you a boat swan? Oh, I would call it a shipwright. Shipwright. There you go. He's making the build out. Hey, There's folks. Brett. Uh, this is the cabinet uh, that we talked about in previous videos that he's he's making the pattern for. He's also going to measure everything for the pantry area over there. So we'll give you guys updates as they happen. Meantime, Brett took all the patterns he had created back to his shop and got to work on the initial framing for the cabinet and pantry area. After a few weeks, he texted me and said he was ready for an initial fitting of the frames and the countertop. We were really stoked because progress had been made really slow on everything else that we had endeavored to do, and nothing seemed like it was getting done. Okay, you two buddies. Well, Brett is down doing the cabinets. Uh, so let me take a shot out of uh, the frame that he's put in that I talked to you guys about before. Yeah. And Brett, what, what kind of wood is this? This is actually Morante Mahogany. Morante Mahogany. It's beautiful. It's pretty wood. So, yeah, it's really pretty. And this is going to be the bulkhead that goes and separates these yeah, two areas. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in. So I'm going to pop the face frame out. It's not installed yet. Perfect. But we have uh, the two doors already made that go inside the, frame, the face frame there. Yep, yep, which we saw earlier, and you did a bang up uh, job on them. So I think I just need a, just a little bit of adjustment on this. So I have to pop this in because this bulkhead. Oh, uh, that's going to be great. That's going to gonna separate, that's gonna that's separate the sail area on the other side with our pantry area. Yeah, it has a little separation right here. So I need right. to fill this gap in, and it's a little cockeyed this way, just by like a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah. So I think I've got to take a little wedge. We're going to have to adjust this guy too. I'm going to have to adjust this. Yeah. So have to cut that. Now that I have the bulkhead kind of in where I want it, what I would do be to make mark here, knowing that that's how far out. Right. I need to make the backing for this part of the hatch to sit on so the hatch will actually be a little smaller and I'm going to have to fill in this gap here the frame won't fill that in what's that the frame won't fill that in when you put the frame on the well, outside it, it, it will but I'd like to have a piece of backing between these two guys here oh. so that it doesn't you know get a bully yeah, bully yeah. and that may add just a touch of structural strength to the it sure will. The thing. Then, you know, the face frame, of course, is going to go over the top of that. That is going to be so cool. You know what? Like I said, we've got so many projects going on, we're not seeing any progress on. To see some progress here, really kind of... Actually, you know, that's not, not too bad because it sticks out the same amount here. Yeah. We might actually be a done deal there. Yeah. And then uh, we'll put molding cap on this later. At the very end. Very cool. And it's all said and done. See what kind of molding you guys want places. Yep, yep. Yeah, we may be talking other work that we need done, <laughs> you know, in other places. Oh, those, yeah, those are later simple stuff. Yeah. But this, this is what concerns me right here. This little, we have a. Um, oh, that seam. Because it's kind of like yeah. wedge. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is maybe just to. Uh, cut and put a piece of the marine grade plywood just a square right here yeah I, you know what i don't disagree with that at all you know i'll put just a square we don't have to get too crazy but then that'll give me two pieces of marine grade on the side and if i just actually screw out through the wall yeah just let the run the screws wild we could break them off over here yeah and then we'll cap it with that mahogany yeah that would be good because this like this is just particle board this is shit yeah, you see this? It's, yeah. just, it's sticking out right yeah. here. It's like bowed. Yeah. So when I put the piece of marine grade, I'll try and screw it. Mm -hmm. So it'll pull it, pull it back in. together, hopefully. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. 
so right on. So that's looking good, actually. Okay. Uh, so we would attach that later, but I can get my measurement for my drawers now, like widths. This is what I needed. And then I'm going to have, uh, you know, the, uh, the doors in as well. So I'm going to have to build structure out here. Or no, I'm going to put shelves. That's right. Yeah, we're doing shelves. Top. Slide out shelves. Yeah. <laughs> right. Very cool. Right. So that slides back to the wall. Yep. And drops down into there. Right. I just want to do it because... Right. Because of the molding there. Yep. I think once I remove that molding, yep. think it'll come right off. Let's so see. I'm going to do that. Looks like a plan. Very cool. Coming together. Coming together. Yeah, I wouldn't put the Formica on it until I knew that the piece was going to fit. And yeah. I, I cut a uh, half an inch or so greater than the opening so that the other <laughs> lid, when it drops down, it'll, you know. <laughs> sit on there right but I do see I, I needed to make this cut right here I wanted to make sure that was for sure like that yeah so I gotta take this out make that cut and go get the, the molding sounds good excellent okay youtubers more of an update later